evening routines can make or break your success. Because the mood you go to sleep in is a mood you often wake up in. So no matter how good your morning routine is, if your evening routine is out of check, it's very likely that your next day will suffer. And today, this is why I'm gonna break down five evening routines of the most successful people on this planet that you can model so you can begin to see the same results that they see every single day. Without further ado, let's go on to the first point. The first point is day disconnect. This is a habit of Irina Huffington. She turns off her mobile, laptop, and disconnects from the world. Why? Because these devices are often putting us into a reactive state, whereby we're reacting back to and um, replying back to emails, uh, messages on social media, all of this stuff, it puts us into a reactive state. Thus, sometimes it can actually make us feel a bit more stressed. Because I'm sure sometimes you've been dealt with bad news via email. That's the last thing you want before you go to sleep. Because this is regarded as an open loop. Especially if you don't reply back to them and get it sorted all by that night, you're gonna go to sleep worrying and stressing about what the outcome is. And this is why successful people disconnect at least one or two hours before they sleep. Going on to the second point, they examine the day and plan the next. This is what the American Express CEO currently does. He basically outlines what he's achieved, what went wrong, and what he could have done better every single evening. And then he begins to plan the very next day in regards to what he wants to have happen. As the great saying goes, fail to plan, plan to fail. And so you gotta make sure you really analyze and monitor your life, almost like an Olympian. Just as a coach would analyze, you know, a personal best, at the end of every evening, you can analyze what was your personal best today? How can you get better tomorrow? What was the things that impacted, let's say, your score? Or what was the things that actually prevented you from getting a better score? You gotta keep on improving every single day by using numbers, because what gets measured gets done. Number three is day read. Bill Gates is a huge fan of reading. No matter what time he gets home at night, you'll find him reading for one hour and then falling asleep. For those of you who are not a fan of reading, resort to something like audiobooks. And in fact, a sponsor of our show is called Audible. They provide um, audiobooks that you can download. And as a success insider, you can actually download one for free. I'm actually gonna chuck a link above to claim your, your free book. Or you can go to the description box below to claim a free book from Audible. So read a book and that way you're gonna go to sleep with a calm, chatter-free mind. Point number four is day exercise. CEO of Buffer is known to do this. He'll, he'll go to the gym or he'll basically walk down the road or he'll run, whatever it may be, just get out of breath. Now for those of you who are like me, who like to exercise in the morning, just do it in the morning. But what's important is you get the exercise done at some point in the day because the last thing you want is just to be, you know, hunched back over your desk every single day. It is terrible in regards to your health. So get some exercise if you don't exercise in the evening at least. Number five is meditation. And Oprah Winfrey is a big fan of meditation in the evening. Now, what you're gonna realize is the mood you go to sleep in is the mood you often wake up in. And this is why it's important to really calm the mind from the day's stresses. Maybe something went wrong in the business. Maybe you've been delivered some bad news. Whatever it may be, if this is running in the background when you sleep, guess what? You're gonna wake up miserable. And thus, this is why your morning routine right now may not be working very good. And maybe right now you're fa failing to adopt this. The reason being is your evening routine is out of check. So you gotta make sure you've got a very positive mood before you go to sleep, and you gotta make sure that it's calm, it's peaceful, and all of the things have been the result by simply just meditating. Just letting things be. Focusing on your breathing, Oprah Winfrey does this, so you can also model this into your life. So those are the five evening routine of the most successful people. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please be sure to click the like button. If you've got any questions, comment in the questions box below and share this with your friends and your loved ones as life is all about giving at the end of the day. And as always, Insider, follow your heart, my friend, and take action and go live the life you're born to live. See you on the next episode soon. Take care.